today's topic is how to use the seventh and the eighth rank. I prepared one game who played, uh, which played Butvinik and Alyohin. They are both uh, world champions. And first move was knight f3, d5, d4, knight f6, c4, e6, knight c3, c5. Who knows the name of opening? semi defense. And c takes d5, knight takes d5. And uh, the most popular is e4, knight takes c3, b takes c3, uh, c takes d4, c takes d4, bishop b4, uh, which was tested in their match uh, Alyohin Ava, and instead went for the less known type of position at that time. But Winnick decided to play e3 in this position. So knight c6, bishop c4 to devolve the pieces, right? c takes d4, what will you do here? First of all, after c takes d4, um, black opens c file, right? Because the main idea for white um, in the future to play if bishop e7, take the pawn on c5, bishop takes c5 and black lost the tempo. So, but Winnick decided take uh, e takes d4. Bishop e7, and what white can play here? Castle. Castle, of course. And what black should play here? Same. Same, very well. <coughs> now, what is the best move for white here? What is the main idea of move queen e1? Okay, but why not rook e1 with the same idea and develop the rook? Yeah, um, because after queen e1, your rook on the pawn has no job, right? Yeah. So it's a mm, typical strategy idea in the middle of the game to play rook e1, attack the, po uh, the square on e5, maybe to play knight e5 in the future. And uh, position with isolated pawns always uh, belonged uh, to Butvinik's favorites. Uh, thanks to his efforts uh, to reveal all opportunities that uh, they are present in such positions. Chess players have lost uh, their almost mystical uh, fear of playing uh, with isolated pawns in the center. Uh, this fear um, had been um, pervasive uh, since Tainis' uh, impressive victories over Zuckertort, and the powerful logical um, arguments of first world champion put forth against uh, creating un unnecessary weaknesses. Botvinnik was the first uh, to prove uh, constantly the active piece, play with pressure in the center very often more than uh, compensates for a slight defect of the pawn structure. Uh, it's interesting to play knight c3, b takes c3, b6, bishop d3, bishop b7, h4. What will you do here? What is the main idea of move h4 for white? Well, he's going to try a Okay, what else? So to push h5 maybe in the future. Also maybe to play knight g5, right? Because uh, g5 square is strong. So bishop takes h4, uh, knight takes h4, queen takes, and the rook e3. Uh, your idea? Uh, to put the rook on the h file, yes, but uh, rook e3 and the rook h3 is better than rook h1. Mm, and uh, white has strong attack on the h file and h7 pawn real is weak. So it's a typical idea how to sacrifice the pawn on h file and to use uh, open h file. Also a6, mm, the best alternative is probably this and um, it's okay. So in the game, uh, what's move b6? Dubious move. So what do I should play here? Develop, play. Okay, we need to develop our queen, but uh, what is the best square for our queen? 
Okay, uh, it's an interesting idea, but in this position, correct move knight takes d5. E takes d5, what will you do here? Bishop d3, go back. And then queen c2 attack the pawn on h7. Maybe our opponent will not see that we want to eat this pawn, yeah. <laughs> Bishop b5. Bishop b5, that's correct move. To attack this knight with the tempo. And despite the symmetrical pawn structure, black is now doomed uh, to a passive defense. Weaknesses on the C file and um, a slight discoordination of the black pieces give white an easy game in which he can develop um, his initiative. So. Bishop b5 is the best move in that position? Yeah. Um, correct move was for black bishop b7, queen a4. Mm. Queen d6 and offered much better chances for a su successful defense. Also interesting rook c8 here, yeah, bishop f4, a6. And it's interesting position for black. But in this position, uh, Alyokhin decided to play uh, bishop d7, which is blunder. Why? Who can explain? First of all, we played b6 with the idea to develop bishop to b7 square, right? Okay, what else? I don't like your move queen c2 because uh, if uh, rook c8, it will be dangerous in the future for a queen. It's better to put the rook on c1, first of all. And then if you need, you can put your queen on c2. So first of all, to use this uh, open file with your rook. But black will have two bishops after bishop takes c6, bishop takes c6. What is the best square for queen in this position? In the variation that you just no, right now, in this position. Yes, queen a4, why not queen a4? Because knight on c6 is weak. So bishop b5 and queen on a4, attack this knight. What black should play here? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, if rook c8, bishop f4, mm -hmm. what black can play here? Yeah, black has problems with his next move. A6 right now? Yes. Yes. Okay, maybe I should take bishop takes c6, bishop takes c6, and queen takes a6 after a6. Win the pawn like this. So it's difficult position for black. So what is the main idea for you if you open an attic your piece? Strategy idea. To defend. What else? And our idea. Counterattack. What else? Uh, yes, maybe trade the pieces. What else? To move with that piece, right? Of course. Knight B8. It's a sad retreat, but what black can play here? So what is the best move for white in this position? Make a natural move here. Make a natural move. Develop your pieces. Bishop f4, yes, to develop your uh, bishop and with the idea uh, bishop takes b8 and bishop takes d7. So black should take the bishop on b5 and exchange that bishop. 
Queen takes b5, a6, what white should play? Go back, yeah? And what is the main idea of this move? Yes, keeping the knight on b8 uh, in its misery. Okay. Um, bishop d6. In order to relieve pressure. How about uh, bishop takes, this white turn, right? Bishop takes bishop. Yes. Queen takes, yes. and rook down to e8. If rook e8, uh, knight d7, or knight c6, maybe better. I'm going to do better work over to a, a to e1. But I have a double attack. Yeah. It just looks like it's a strong. No, if rook e8, knight c6, rook a to e1, I can take your rook on e8. I cut at your queen from a4, uh, e8 diagonal. I'm sorry, I'm trying to follow. Oh. Wait, right. So, knight e8, I can play knight c6. Okay. Now you cannot play rook e1 because I will take your rook. Do you understand this? Yeah. So you should exchange and, okay, maybe king takes a fate. So not good. Yes, so rook a c1. So what is the main idea for you in this position after rook a c1? Stop the knight. Black now cannot develop knight c6. Yes, what else? To put the rook on the open c file. Mm -hmm. Strategy idea. Okay. A rook a7. What is the main idea of this move for black? Okay, maybe. So, yeah, to prevent the rook c7 in the future and develop the rook. Queen c2. Your idea. But in this time. <laughs> so, what is the main idea of this move? Why in this moment uh, queen c2 is good? Okay, maybe possible to play in the future queen c8, but uh, it's not dangerous right now because uh, knight d7. What else? We can weaken the king to if knight g5, g6. If you have open file, the main idea also for you to double pieces on the open file. In this position, rook on e1 is good, so that's why you double uh, your rook and queen on c5. Uh, with the idea to stop rook c7 to exchange the rooks. So what if knight d7? What white will play? <coughs> yes, queen c6, queen takes c6, rook takes c6, and and game does not promise any sweet moments. Yeah. So um, after knight d7, black's position looks reasonable, but unfortunately for him, all the weaknesses remain uh, permanent. So black played the rook e7 in this position. What white should play? Why I don't want to trade the rooks? Okay, you could change the rook and then move the queen up and exchange queens and have your rook on the seventh frame. Yes, yeah. you are right, queen c7. So the main idea for you 
uh, if you have open file, to use the seventh or eighth rank. And uh, your rook on c7 is really strong. But after this uh, useful exchange, the white rook um, penetrates the black ranks, and uh, Alyokhin rightly estimated that uh, this rook alone was not able to cause serious uh, damage. And f6 he played. What is the main idea of this move? Okay, to stop knight e5 and knight g5. With the idea in the future to play rook f7, yes. Yeah. Okay, if for example rook b7, what black will play here? Same idea as for white, to put the rook on the c file and to attack the first rank. Because king is weak. And if king f1, now you can push b5. Then you get this c file. b5 is good for you. So after rook b7, white lost. Uh, control on C file. Then that's why it's not good for white. So what white should play instead rook B7 here? Mm -hmm. What is the main idea of moving in the fun? Yes, centralizing the king to the end in the end game. What black should play here? Yeah. So again, why did we play f6? Rook f7, we wanted to play to exchange the rooks. Rook c8, again, rook f8. Draw is good result for yeah. black, so right. why try to win? Well, why should play here? Now, if you will exchange the rooks, but we lost our advantage. We have yeah. advantage because we have rook on c file and we can use 7th uh, rank or 8th rank, and after rook takes f8. Our rook is better than black's rook. So we should go back, but to which square? Rook c3. So we're going back in the bushes to pounce again at the right moment, and the pawn uh, symmetry shouldn't fool uh, anyone. Black is not able to restore the coordination of the pieces in case of below, for example, knight d7, what will we do? Again, rook c7, rook c7, and again to use the seventh rank, knight b8, and uh, black lost the tempo. So same will be after king f7. So. So in this position, uh, black played g5, a smart idea, pushing his pawn on the king's side, Alyokhin reduced uh, the importance of the 7th rank, which will sooner or later be uh, dominated by his opponent's rook. Also with the idea to stop h4, maybe. So what white should play here? g4? But how many moves you should spend <laughs> to put your knight on f5? e1, g2, e3, then f5. So four moves. And then what? <laughs> I think I can try to play um, king g7, then king g6 and h5, with the idea to, to open h file.
I'm not sure about this move g4. Why have bad move? Actually, you have not big choice. <laughs> what are you thinking? Knight d2 or knight e1? Or knight g1? <laughs> Not G1, okay. I, I don't see any good for it, but yeah, I, I, I say E1 with the idea of going to D3 and at least your Yes, Knight E1. Knight E1, uh, with the idea maybe Knight C2, Knight B4, or Knight C2, Knight E3, Knight F5. That's why um, in this position, Black decided to push H5 pawn. Yes, but also if h6, what white can play? White can still play knight c2. King f7. Knight e3, king e6. So why not g4 here? G4. So white has thrown square on f5, and pawn on h6 is weak also. Yes? Okay. So h5. Now h4. And what is the main idea of this move? Yes, forcing new weaknesses on the king side, and now black's defensive lines are breaking apart. His passive pieces cannot operate effectively uh, all over the board. So after g4, we will play which move? Which move, knight? Knight d3 and knight f4. And black will have two weak pawns, h5 and d5. So black played knight d7. What is the best move for white? Yes. And in full control, rook on c7. Rook f7. Yes, knight d3 is the same idea to play knight b4 and yeah. take but both pawns. Yes, that's, that's why maybe yeah. after knight d3 I can push a5, but the question is what black should play after knight c2. So maybe after knight c2 black can play knight f8. With the idea to exchange the rooks, and if rook takes f7, king takes f7, knight e3, we have move king e6. Right, king White played in this position knight f3, yeah. with the idea to attack the pawn on g5. If g takes h4, you can take knight takes h4, then use f5 square. g4, now what? Knight e1 with the idea knight d3 and knight f4 and uh, attack these both pawns, d5 and h5. f5. Knight f4, knight So why did we play knight e1? Knight d3, f4. So white cannot play knight f4, but f4 pawn is weak right now, yeah? Knight. 
Why to move in this position? Okay, let's calculate. Knight takes a four, rook takes a four. Rook takes d7, rook takes e5, uh, d4. Uh, not, so not good. If knight e5, yeah, knight yeah. takes e5. Yeah. We lost okay. knight. Okay, yes, we have rook c8 check. Maybe. Nice. Rook f8, rook f8, king takes f8, d takes e5, king e7. It can be a winning position for black. Knight. Um, so, this pawn is weak. Knight. B. But maybe black will push f3 in the future. Yeah. F3, yeah. f3, yes, that's correct. Ooh. G takes, g takes, a5. A4, king f8, rook c6, king e7, king f2, rook f5, b3, so there's no need to hurry, king d8, king e2, knight b8. So if rook takes b6, what black can play? King c7. With the rear knight c6 gives black counter chances. So, not good. No, white can play rook b5, but knight c6 attack the pawn on d4 and white cannot protect it. If rook a5, knight takes d4, knight takes b3. Okay, it's a good idea. Uh, c5 and d5 are really uh, weak squares, so you will see how white used it in the game. <laughs> yeah. Rook g6. White used open c file also with the idea to use another open g file. So it's uh, also one of strategy idea if you have open file. And um, so c file was like springboard for the rook. And you can use now g6, uh, g file square. So, king c7. And what did you say? And not put a square on the fifth, sixth, or seventh rank, which is protected by a pawn on the open file and which cannot be attacked by an opponent's pawn. As usual, the fifth uh, squares and the output squares in the center are for the knight. Knight e5 can use, right? If, for example, you have outpost the square on a G file, you can use it with your rook and double your rooks. Okay, so knight e5 and making sure its counterpart will not participate in the uh, game. So knight b8, bad. If knight d7, what will you play? Rook g7. So knight a6, rook g7. But it was a little better for white to play rook g5 to exchange the rooks and winning it a bit quicker. Mm, because if rook g5, h takes g5, king d6, g6, king e7, g7, yeah. So rook g7, king c8. Also the main idea to cut the king on the 7th rank, to use the 7th rank, knight c6. Rook f6, knight e7, right? King b8, knight takes d5 at last. Rook d6. Rook g5, this idea to protect the knight on d5 and attack the h5 pawn. Knight b4. Knight takes b4, a takes b4 in, in the end two knights which set different histories both disappeared together but it, it gives black uh, no satisfaction since the rook and game is absolutely lost. Rook takes h5, if rook d4 it was interesting move for black rook f5, king c7, h5, 
and weak pawns are still around, so it's winning position for white. So white took here, rook c6, rook b5, king c7, rook takes b4, rook h6, rook b5, rook takes h4, king d3, and your idea, king e4. So black resigned and um, uh, Alyokhin said one time that uh, of the 14 games I played in this tournament, only once did I feel that my opponent outplayed me. So it was game with Butvinnik in round seven and no future comments are needed. <laughs> uh -huh.